Hello, I'm Daryl Howerton, and welcome to Women's Sports Cards, episode number 10. This one is titled, Diana Taurasi and the Space Jam Effect. That's right, this weekend, LeBron James' new movie, Space Jam, came out Friday, July 16th, to be exact, at theaters everywhere, and it is also streaming on HBO Max. I just got done watching it, and it was great. LeBron James was awesome, as was Bugs Bunny, Lola Bunny, and all the Looney Tunes characters along with num numerous other cameos from other Warner Brothers characters that I won't spoil you with the details. Diana Taurasi and Neko Ogumake, two WNBA stars, also appeared in the movie. Diana appeared as the White Mamba, a snake-like character. Of course, the late, great Kobe Bryant gave, famously gave Diana that nickname, and Neko played a spider-like spider -like character named Arachneka. Um... Uh, like I said, this movie only adds to Diana's platform this summer, as she's now going to be going for her fifth gold medal on Team USA. That starts next week when the Olympics begin, and she again will be front and center on the platform. I believe the Space Jam effect and the Olympic effect will cause her cards to spike. Right now, the last time this card sold as a PSA 10 was two months ago for $1,575. Her WNBA rookie card, 2004 Ultra, that sold as a PSA 9 version for $2,250. To me, that says if a PSA 10 is sold of the Pro card, that could go as high as $7,000. And keep in mind, there's only four 10s in existence. This particular college rookie card of her in a Yukon uniform, there's only two 10s in existence. So even though it sold for $1,600, approximately two months ago, I wouldn't be surprised if it went for two or three thousand dollars in the weeks to come. Like I said, there's only two in the world. <laughs> so so Diana Taurasi's cards are primed to rise and I'm excited about it because this card is probably worth as an eight point five is probably worth twenty five percent of whatever a ten goes for. And considering I bought this for five dollars last summer, along with these other Taurasi cards for eight dollars in the past um summer as well. You know, that's just great boom value. That's why I call these women's sports cards the hottest alternative asset. And this is where it pays off when you get the cards graded for $15 back in January or $30 now and put the cards on a $10 card and watch it rise to $100, $200, $300, $400. Or if you happen to pull a 10 like Tarasi, thousands of dollars. Like I said, she's going to be entering the 10K club, I believe, in the near future. Right now, that just belongs to people like Mia Hamm, who broke the record of $34,440 two weeks ago when her PSA 10 sold, the only one in existence for that amount. Serena Williams card, I believe, is more valuable than 1999 Sports Illustrated for Kids Rookie card. She normally goes for twice of whatever the Mia Hamm sells for. So if that's over $35,000, I expect this card to be, you know, hit the 70000 mark in the future. Someone put their PSA 10 up for sale on eBay for $50,000. So that's the type of numbers we're talking about when it escalates like it is right now. There's other 10K cards out there. Alex Morgan had a one-of-one one sell uh, months ago for $16,000. Sabrina Ionescu and her Panini Prism Parallels are selling for a lot. I believe there was a black gold one that sold for... Uh, over $10,000, and that's one of five cards. So the fact that it pulled a PSA 10 and also was a rare one of five, uh, you know, contributed to that. And reportedly a Naomi Osaka card sold for $13,000, although I'm not certain if that was a legit sale because I haven't seen anything else really approach anything close to that. So that being said, Diana, I believe, will be the next one. Not only because her cards are so low right now, but they're slowly escalating at an extreme rate. And she is the greatest of all time when it comes to WNBA players, comes to female basketball players. You know, if you look at the other players up there for consideration, there's people like uh, Cynthia Cooper. When she came into the league, she was uh, winning the WNBA MVP award back to back to back when the league first started and leading the Houston Comets along with Cheryl Swoops and Tina Thompson to a dynasty of back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back WNBA championships. You know, she's under consideration. I think you've also got to consider Lisa Leslie and Lauren Jackson, two stars of 20 years ago. 
you know, who here's her college prospect card. Here's a Nike promo card of Lauren Jackson before her rookie card. Um, you've got to like, you know, them as all-time greats. Lauren Jackson is my all-time favorite player, along with Candace Parker, who's another person that you have to like. This is her college rookie card from 2007, SI for Kids. You know, Candace is still playing, and she's younger than Diana, so she still has a lot to add to her resume to even be in the conversation. But to me, no one comes close to Diana because not only is she the WNBA's all-time leading scorer, which a lot of stat heads like to trumpet, but to me, she's all about winning. She's the Bill Russell of the WNBA. When you consider the fact that she's played in multiple leagues, you have to consider. Not only did she win three NC2A championships when she was in college, you have to consider a lot of pro men don't play college basketball. So, you know, they have a chance to win more championships. Well, she won three college championships at UConn. And then you add to the fact she won three more in the WNBA. And then there were years where she didn't play in the WNBA or also played in the Euro League overseas. She won six Euro League titles. So just add all those up and it's incredible. But I'm not even done. Uh, she's won four Olympic gold medals for USA Basketball and three World Cup gold medals for USA Basketball. She's going for a fifth in the Olympics next week. I mean, I can't even add all those numbers off the top of my head right now. I'm going to have to look, go back and add them up later. <laughs> but that being said, you know, Diana Taurasi is a GOAT. She's the greatest of all time when it comes to basketball. And I think when you look at Serena Tennis, she's the same way when it comes to football. Uh, Mia Hamm, when it comes to soccer, you know, those are those three women are the best at what they do in all of women's sports. So I consequently, their women's sports cards, I think it makes sense that they'll become the three most valuable cards. And Diana's cards right now, like I said, are only going for, you know, close $2,000, give or take a couple hundred dollars. And those cards are starting to escalate. And that's why we call this Diana Taurasi and the Space Jam Effect. I hope you like this. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you share. I hope you subscribe. And I just want to say thank you for watching. God bless you.